It is the 14th day of January 2018 and this is Nakuru TV News Roundup. Jane Washuka Waroe headed to India for specialized liver treatment. The county government of Nakuru to offer bursary scholarships for needy but bright students. Saudi Arabia women now allowed to watch a football match in an open stadium. Welcome to our bulletin, I'm Eskamoa. Mr. Geoffrey Waroe has decided to be the primary donor for his daughter who is set to undergo treatment in India. This liver treatment will be carried out at the Artemis Hospital that is in India and it will be an operation of its own kind. Earlier yesterday, at the flag of ceremony to India of Jane Washuka Waroe, his daughter, it was made clear that a father's love can withstand a lot of challenges. Jane Washuka Waroe has been battling liver complications since birth. She is now 14 years old, having undergone treatment at the Kenyatta National Hospital but not being able to recover fully. Jane is optimistic that she will get better. After the open surgery that will comprise of 15 doctors and 15 hours long, family and friends and well-wishers have been able to raise 4 million pardon, speaking during the function, Nakuru County Speaker Mr. Joel Maina Cairo encouraged the family and asked family and friends to pray for them. His Excellency Governor Lee Kinyanjui was represented by uh, the CEC for Education, Mr. Raymond Komen. The family thanked Honorable Speaker Maina Cairo, the Speaker of the County Assembly of Nakuru, who was present for his continued support and for being a source of encouragement to the family. Political Affairs Director in the Office of the Governor, Honorable Beatrice Nyawera, applauded Mr. Waroe for being a good example to fathers because of the sacrifice he has been making for his daughter and even donating part of his liver to her. Honorable Michael Mashembo Shege, the area MCA for Dondori Ward, where Mr. Waroe and his family hail from, and who was also present at the function, thanked His Excellency Lee Kinyanjui, the governor of Nakuru, for being of great help to the family. He further thanked the governor for his generous contribution towards the Jane Washuka Medical Fund. Alitupa, Mpone, turudi hapa, turudishe shukurani. Na mimi nina uwakika ya kwamba, pesa tutakuwa tumezita futu. Kwanza ni kusema nimekuja kujiunga na nini kwa niyapa ya governor na kwa niyapa ya serikali ya county hii yetu ya nakuru. Kwa sababu, um, we believe kwamba shida ya mtu wa nakuru ni shida ya sisi usote. Sina miyo? So I am here very compassionately kujiunga na nini kusema musafiri salama mkupeleka mtoto wetu huyu ambaye amemaliza standard 8 and I have an interest in that kusipabu I want to see her kwamba anayendelea na masomo na naitimo kama sisi wengine moti Hata mbali ya mapu kutumefika sasa hivi. Sini miujiza mungu. Hata to raise that 4 million. Na hiyo 3 million mepaki sindio kidogo. Ishua ito iti raised. Mutakuja hata mkua mepona mtuko mkua sana. Ya pili, sometimes mungu wanafanya jambo. Kujitimulisha. And to test our faith. This is a testimony God is making. For people who don't believe in God. That God can do that which man thinks it is not possible. So let us continue fasting in God to see the 
The CEC for Education and ICT, Mr. Raymond Komen, has made this clear that the county government of Nakuru will fully support needy but bright students. Speaking at a function in Nakuru town yesterday, Mr. Komen stated that the process of releasing bursary forms under the ward and county programs has already begun. The CEC was also happy to note that his ministry has already started mapping out hardship areas with regard to school feeding program at ECD level, which is aimed at motivating the children and improving their nutrition. On matters development, Mr. Komen said that the education department has already started monitoring and evaluation of projects to know which have stalled and also table a comprehensive report to ensure payments to contractors for all completed projects as well as ensure new ones take off. In education, we are at the moment at the process of uh, releasing funding for uh, sponsorships and our ward bursary and county bursary program that is ongoing. We release a timetable and uh, we are happy that we have already sensitized the stakeholders, sensitized our leaders on, uh, who are at the grassroots such that what is stated in the regulations is met in that uh, bursaries should target those that are needy but bright. The program is for the needy but bright students. So that is ongoing. The other things that are going on in the sector is that uh, we are mapping out some of the areas that are hardship with regard to um, feeding for the children in early childhood centers as a way of motivating and improving nutrition at the grassroots. So that is going on and in, in under 30 days we, we will have rolled out a school feeding program in our early childhood centers which is within our mandate. We, uh, lastly is uh, with regard to development as an education department we are in the process of concluding with a comprehensive monitoring and evaluation program of all our development projects, the construction of classrooms, the completed ones, the abandoned ones, the ones that have not taken off, such that we shall have a report for government um, that will assist us plan and also take necessary action to pay the contractors that may not have been uh, that have been awaiting after a complete report is uh, tabled. Thank you. Saudi Arabia women have finally been allowed to watch football matches in stadiums. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is at it again. Women in Saudi Arabia for the first time were allowed to enter a sports stadium to watch a soccer match in Jeddah. The move is part of Prince Mohammed's ambitious project to modernize the Saudi society and to boost its economy. However, women were segregated in the stands from the male-only crowd with a designated sitting area dubbed family section. At the King Abdullah Sports Stadium, it happened just recently. It will be remembered that Prince bin Salman initiated the easing of the strict gender segregation, which for the first time in October 2017 allowed women to drive. Of various stadiums, including King Fahad Stadium in Riyadh, King Abdullah Sports City in Jeddah, and Prince Mohammed bin Fahad in Damam, will now have family sections. The Saudi General Sports Authority says it has made all the necessary preparations to make sure that the family sections have an attractive sports environment for families and to ensure their privacy as well as safety. Keep it Nakuru TV for more news making headlines and for a comprehensive roundup of the news. I have been your host Esther Moy. Do have a blessed night.